So what can I do with this? Okay, let's find out in another exciting episode of Playmates Toys. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, one of the Star Trek Playmates Enterprise D. This is part four. It, guaranteed this is going to be a little bit less than the last one in lengthwise, but that went as a full restoration done, and I am so happy with that. It's ridiculous. So this is the original one from last year. I mean, the, the, the first one, it was an absolute nightmare build. Because it lasted between retrobriting this, which didn't work, to trying to fix that one, and it didn't sort of did, but it didn't. But it took literally, it took me six months, I think, from November to, to April. So it was long enough to, to do, but still, this was the original one. This was a teardown one. It's too yellowed. I could wait a couple of months until summer finally turns up in the UK, but ugh, I can't really be bothered. So what I think I want to do for this one is, I've got lots of goodies. But I said the original reason why I bought this because they had the stickers, the original stickers, and they're on the Enterprise D on the shelf. So what I think I want to do is, it's all, I mean, that green, all right, these are broken bits. There's, there's no way in hell I can get these off properly to um, show you that this actually comes, because it, it's so much glue on there, it's ridiculous. So I've managed to put these back in place as they are there, and they will so, so look whatever. I mean, yeah, you can see that if it's ever lit from the inside. That's not what I'm going to do with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together, as is, and I'm going to paint it, simple as. I didn't paint the other one because the whole model, sorry, the whole colour of this isn't far off the, the actual production model anyway. You see, the, the people say it's either grey or a light grey, and it's not. It's a duck egg blue. If you look at the actual model itself, and actually, if you watch Generations, when the, the, the saucer comes down and crash lands, it's a duck egg blue. So, yeah. That's what it is, no matter what you say, and I don't care. So what I'm going to do is this is going to go back together again, and I'm going to, yeah, figure something out, and I'm going to paint it. I'm just going to spray paint it. It's going to look fine. It's going to look good. It won't work as a, as a model, as in putting lights on and, and sounds or whatever. The board on this one is knackered. There is definitely something wrong with this this board, so that there's no real need to actually use it. Although I might just fit it inside just for sentimental sake. If somebody wants to use this and do something with it, so be it. But at the minute, it's worthless to me. The lights won't throw them in the bin because they're not going back in. So yeah, sentimental or not. So what I'm gonna do now for the next few minutes is put this back together put everything properly back together, glue these in place, put everything in place, and then it gives me something to spray paint. But I want it as a full full model, shall we say. And I want it sort of, I could spray paint these individual and then struggle to fit these into there because they, they, they're pretty tight anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna do something with it whole and full, but I need to try and, attach something somewhere, which is probably going to be one of the scrolls. I can put a, a wire on it so I can hang it up, spray paint it, and there'll be, most of the joins on this will be filled in a little bit by the paint anyway. So, let's build this together. I'm going to put you on fast forward, and we'll start building this. Shut up and sit down.
with everything glued in place, these have had time to set. So these can go on the model itself. I will glue these on as well. I, I, I've kind of forgotten to glue this part here on, but I might just get away with that, to be honest. With what I'm doing, it shouldn't really, might not matter. Although looking at it, I think it might. Yeah. I'll find the glue again. Hope fits in, shall we say. I can get away with. Dab here and a dab there. On the front. Okay, so I'll clamp that one down again. That side. If we can pull this side back up again. Hey, it does need it. It could have gone all the way across, but it's holding itself in at the minute. See any more glue going in there? I think I've just run out. That's okay. I can get more. So with that going to set, all I've got is put the cell on. I think these on it. These go either way. See, it's amazing how many models on eBay, the Playmates models, there are without the nacelles. It's quite ridiculous, really. Fit on there. That fits a bit too easy on there. Which is good. Oh, that bit there's come off. That's fine. This is just a test anyway. So. Oh, that's really a stiff. It's really a stiff one. Yeah, that's better. It goes on. So I need to find some glue, glue them into place, and then we're finished with the model and we can get on with what we're gonna do with it. Now the Enterprise is all fully done, dried, happy, nacelles in place and done. So you can see this was, yeah, this was bought over six months ago and it's been displayed that way. And that way is not particularly good either, but still better than, you can hold it that way as a display model, I suppose, and you'd get away with it. Right, I've not put landing legs on this, I'm not done a voyager on this. The thing with this is I need to hold this so I can spray it all in one go. Like I say, it would be easier just to spray the parts and screw them back together again, but I'm not doing that. I want all of it to be caked at the same time so it gets rid of any little seam joins and stuff like that, maybe. But I've also got to I've also got to put paint on the two screws that actually go in here afterwards. So this is a sign you're getting old, is you've got a box for absolutely everything. And I was looking and I've lost it. Completely lost it now. Because I've got some wire for hanging pictures. There you go. <laughs> it was in this case at the side of me. But yeah, I can perfectly cut some of this. Because I could just use normal wire, which this is all this is what it is anyway, but I don't have I've never used this before. So this is just standard normal wire, spray painted gold. But this is just gonna wrap around, wrap around, and I can hang this. When it's hang like that, it'll be almost flat, where I can get to the bottom, probably spray paint, hold it, and then when I get to this side, hang it up by both sides so I can spray paint the bottom side, and then hang it up and let it dry inside here for a bit. But I need to do a couple of, put, a couple of coats of primer on this, and then see where we want to go from there, what colour I want to go. I mean, it might be good just doing a silver, or doing a gold, I don't know. Could we just, better just, just white it, black it? I don't know, have a stealth enterprise? I don't know. But we'll, we'll get to that with whatever colours I've got, to be honest. So, give me a minute. Well, I'm gonna hang this up, get some primer on this, and then we can see where we can go from there. Now, after a coat and a bit of primer, this is actually looking a hell of a lot better than before. It probably needs another one because I've missed underneath here, where the nacelle, that ring back there is, and same on this side. It's hard to see it when it's like that, dandling. So, yeah, I need to do them bits as well. Have I done underneath here? Yes. Back of there, a little bit over here, there. It doesn't matter so much because it's a primer. So, technically, it shouldn't be that bad. It's still got a bit of drying to do, so I need to leave this alone for a little bit more. Maybe on the edge inside here, but 
it's fine. I need to leave it for another, another half an hour, maybe put another coat on it. it. It does bring out quite a lot of the definition. This is what a lot of people weren't really bothered about with this model, but it's actually not bad. It won't take much to make a... I know I've done it on the other one, but it was just stick together and up for best. But it's, it's, it's actually not bad. It's actually really not a bad model. I mean, most of the lifeboats are all in the same places. Windows are a little bit out, but at least you've got these these ones under here. And there's one main one, I think it was that one, or maybe that one that they missed on the AMT model. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they knew it was there. And there's little gaps, like panel gap opening over here. Yeah, it, it's not perfect, but it's... Like I say, with all the brown on this as well, it's still... A heck of a lot better than what it was and this is only primer yay also at this point of the video i'd like just to remind everybody to subscribe to the channel to um, like and and help the channel as much as you can not, not much of a big plug or anything but it, it helps the channel going so yeah like subscribe help by if you want to donate or you want to be a patreon it, it, it helps me out no end so back to the action well Back to the uh, whatever action, what we're doing anyway, so painting a model, hooray! Well, while I went through that paint to dry, I think... this is, These are all the, the stickers that were from that anyway, from the, the, that actual model. I actually was, wasn't that model, it was the other one. Yeah, because that one got the... Yeah. I think I want to put some on. But some of these, yeah, this little bit sticky, I can probably... Well, I can't really, because that's there's a laminate on the stickiness anyway. That's why you get your lines coming there, and then the paper still carries on. But I think I could probably use that one. Definitely use... Oh, I don't want to go too much. Like, that might be too much. That goes underneath the nacelle. I want the name on it. I'm not sure if that one's the main one or the underneath. Actually, there isn't a name underneath, is there? That's got a full length one anyway, so I might just cut off the pendant, pendant, tenant, pendant, whatever it is, the number there. Yeah, I think I could use some of these. I mean, even I might have to clean them off because that's got a hair stuck on it, and they've got little bits of crap underneath it. What can I use from here? That's the one from the bottom underneath the ship. Very much curled off when I removed it, but I can bend it back, it's just plastic. So I think that's the pinstripe on the back. Where's the rest of these? And the NCC1701 bit that goes on the on the pylons, not bothered. Ah, there it is. That is the rest of that, I think. Yeah. It's two lines. So I can put Two on the inner cells, one on the underneath, the number at the front, and the number on the back. But also I've got the 1701 here that goes on the shuttle bay. Hmm. So we can. I don't I don't want all these transport emitters everywhere, it just looks stupid. Especially if, if I paint it gold. At the minute I'm still not decided what I'm gonna do with it. If I paint it gold, then they'll look a bit daft. I'm gonna take them out just in case I do use them. One might have been ripped. No. Them red ones went on the back. Oh. Of where the... Come on, Ralph. Figure it out. Yeah, the impulse engine's on the source section. Nerd alert. Thank you. Um, so I've got one. One 701 there. One 701, which went on the, 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 the pylons. There's no... 1701 and Enterprise anywhere. Okay, maybe I'll keep that one as well. Because they were on the top of the pylons, but either side were different. There's no 1701. I don't think these would be usable. But it might look interesting with a little extra depth on it than just be crap. I mean, this is literally... Yeah, I don't want to say the, the actual word I'm thinking of, but it is useful. It is fun to do. Yeah. Okay. That's probably enough. 
Now back to the ship. With the undercoat done, it's ready for painting. Now I've decided, I have listened to a few people out there saying what to do. There's one guy who said, I should put all the aftermarket stuff on this. I want this as cheap as possible. I don't want to put any any edge stuff on this because it's, it's really not worth it, to be honest. Just want a static model doing nothing. So I'm gonna go for the one thing that this actually should have been, well, it actually is, was a seven year uh, Playmates version, which we actually sprayed in gold. But the lights did work on that, because it was weird, because it was all gold apart from, I don't think these were, the, they were blue and red, and it was kind of a mishmash between it's either gold or it's not. So I'm just gonna spray the whole thing in gold. And hopefully it should turn out well. So we'll see exactly what happens. So at the minute, I'm not totally sure about this gold leaf one, whether or not it's the right color. Worst case, I'll put one coat on. If it looks absolutely rubbish, I will then try something else, order another can, get this finished and get it sorted. I'm not sat decided either whether or not to use a matte lacquer or a gloss lacquer. Either one of these will do perfectly fine, but I'm gonna be probably, with it being gold, it's gonna be a gloss, isn't it? So, is, that, is it a gloss? Actually, no. That's the gloss. That's the matte. No, they're both matte. Right, I have got a, I have got gloss. So let me put this with a coat of gold leaf on it and see where we go from there. First coat of paint is on. I thought there was a problem with the spray can. I don't think it's coming out as much, but that might be a good idea because it's just not, no, yeah, it's not kicking it like I usually paint things. I can still see a lot of the undercoat. See there, the, the angle there looks like there's nothing. So it does, this is, first coat it will take a lot more coats than this bits on here have kind of missed but it's it's it'll get there eventually I mean this is um, 20 minutes after I put the first coat on so it is nicely easily touchable I said the wire on there is just to hang it up so when it's drying it can be um, yeah because there's no stand so let's get a couple more coats on this and see if this darkens a little bit now with coat number two it's actually starting to really take shape now. A couple of bits missed off because I had to hold it there while I spray in the back. And then, yeah, it, it's, it does need a couple more coats, but this is going swimmingly at the minute. It's going rather well. And I'm actually quite happy with the color it does. Like I said before, it does look very much like what they used with the actual, yeah, mod, model when they did this as a actual gold model to sell to you. So with coats three and four, done this is a lot different than what it was with the first coat on it's it is really really nice good coat on this opposite side got just about think i've got everything does look quite good i've got a couple of things i could touch up a little bit it doesn't seem to fully go into the windows and the gaps so much but it does seem to emphasize a little bit but this looks really nice this is probably better than the eagle moss enterprise because that one is so shiny it's ridiculous and you can end up Thing. Well, I did with the two models that I had. Um, yeah, kind of fingerprints everywhere with it. So all this needs now is screw replacing, which I'm not going to do just yet. I'll do that afterwards. But I also need to spray it with lacquer. Now, the problem with it, if I do matte, it's going to dull dull so much of this down. There's going to be no little sheen on this. So I could do it like a satin one, but it does need spraying over. So I'm going to do it with the gloss and hope that the gloss doesn't go absolutely balmy with this. So, yeah, it's going pretty well so far. Really happy with it. Right, the model is now fully painted and lacquered up. Do you want to see it? Here it comes from that side. It's actually not bad. I'm, I'm toying with the idea of putting the numbers on here, but I don't think I want to. I mean, there's, there's some nice detail on this. I mean, yeah, I could, you know, we could go balmy with this, to be honest, and it's, you know, I could have, you, you could go absolutely ballistic with one of these, because they're the nice model to start with, like I did with the other one. I could drill out all the windows, I could have sanded this bit down, painted over everything so you'd never have seen it. Everything does look certain ways, but I think the gold on this has gone really, really well. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Quite happy indeed. So with this, this likes to go back into its original box since the other one is out on display behind me anyway. So it's it's actually quite good. It's nice, nice enough shine on there. Not too much shine, not just 
you know, be blinded by all the, the well, to see all the detail at least anyway. And there are certain bits, yes, and yes, there's gaps on here, no problem. And the screws, yeah, you can see them, but this is the whole charm of this sort of model anyway. It's not meant to be stuff like this. This was mass, mass churned out just at the right time when Star Trek Next Generation was, it is peak, I suppose, in the, the 90, 89, 90 sort of era. But other than that, yeah, this is, this is again, it's hints of what you can do with yours. If they're trashed, if they're not very good, yeah, you can do stuff like this. It's, it's easy to do, and if a nutter like me can do this, I'm sure you can too. So this is the final part of this. This one started quite a while ago as the yellowed one that which failed the retro brighting, which then we got a different one to do the light inside it because I couldn't get the colour in. I didn't want to paint it. Whereas this one is painted fine and it looks pretty good. And I'm really, really happy. Yes, I could get the the the, the seven year um Playmates model as it was 92, so it's coming quite close to the end of the run. Um the the gold one that you can get for the seven year anniversary of Star Trek, yes, it could be there, but they are going for a fortune. But this looks to me as good as. It's not gonna make the noises. The buttons are all in there. It could be potentially somebody could in the future, maybe, I don't know. If this is gonna stay with me as long as as long as whenever anyway, so I don't know. Just to see what happens with the future. So yeah, this will get boxed up nicely, and then we're all done. So that in mind, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this, and then you've got some sort of ideas if you want to do this sort of project. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on social media. Consider being a patron. Consider a donation that you want to um, help me out with with the channel. And with that I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Just a little extra for the end of the video. I put a couple of stickers on and not put the whole the lot on. 1701, bits there, and then the registry on the front. Doesn't look too bad to be honest. Wasn't going too over the top, and these here were absolutely knackered anyway, so yeah, it's fine. It's good enough for me.